Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some basic results about associated prime ideals and support of a module. Associated prime ideals and support. of a module. Uh, these results are basic and uh, most of the time I will not uh, give complete details. However, I will give enough, however, I will give enough uh, uh, hints and enough details so that one can uh, fill up the remaining details. Alright, so first of all, uh, our base ring is a commutative ring A. This is a commutative ring. And V is an A module. Recall that A module is a group, a abelian group, and which has a scalar multiplication by A, so that the scalar multiplication and the abelian group structure, they are compatible with each other. Uh, this is equivalent to saying that we have a ring homomorphism theta from the ring A to the endomorphisms of the abelian group V plus. So that A going to theta A, if theta A is a scalar multiplication on V, which maps any x to Ax. And this is precisely the A module structure on V. Uh, so, for example, the kernel of this map, kernel of theta, is precisely all those elements A in A such that this theta A is a zero homomorphism. That is, so this is same as all those A in A such that A times any x is zero for all x in V, this precisely what we call it annihilator of the module V. This is the definition of the annihilator of V. So, first of all this is clearly, so annihilator of V is an ideal in V, uh, ideal in A. And also particularly when you take uh, fixed element x in V, then the elements which elements of the ring A which annihilates x means all those A in A such that A x is 0, this is these are also ideal. So these are ideals in A. And among them now we are looking for the prime ideals. So this is a definition. So, definition associated prime ideals of M uh, V associated prime ideals of V uh, as A module, these are precisely prime ideals in A, prime ideals in A that is P is in spec K such that P is annihilator of some element. for some x in v, for some x in v, then you call that prime ideal to be the associated and set of all these prime ideals we call associated prime ideals of v. 
and now this set is very important. So, uh, this set for, for, uh, for example, it is finite or not and how to find elements etc. This is very important for because in the um, one of the lecture we have uh, studied the Zariski topology on the spectrum and this particularly for V equal to A will give some information more finer information about this topological space spec A. For example, it will tell what are the irreducible components of this topological space. So, for that this set of associated prime ideals is very important to study. So, first of all note that, so note that V is 0 if and only if the associated primes of V this is an empty set. So, there is no prime ideal in that because V is 0 therefore, uh, all the annihilators will be the whole ring and so on. So, there is no uh, prime ideal in that case. All right. So, uh, another uh, important uh, result I want to write it as. So, one of the important consequence of this is, so let me write it as a corollary. The, if A is Noetherian is very important, assume that A is Noetherian, that means every ideal in A is finitely generated and V is any A module, then the set of 0 divisors, the set of 0 divisors for M for V which is we denote by uh, Z V this is by definition all those elements A in A such that um, there exist an element X in V such that with A times X is 0 and X is non-zero. So, these are called zero divisors of the module. The assertion is um, the zero divisors, this set is precisely equal to equal to union of P where P varies in the associated prime ideals of V. This is very easy to prove. For example, so proof Suppose if P is an associated prime of V, then by definition P equal to annihilator of some x in V, some x in A. So, this x is in V. So, because P is a prime ideal, P has to, P is by definition, P is not equal to A. Therefore, uh, this x has to be non-zero and therefore all elements of P. So, it is clear that clearly P is then contained in the zero divisors of A because every element of P which is when you multiply by this non-zero x it is zero therefore, it is they are zero divisors. So, therefore, P is contained in uh, the zero divisors. Conversely, conversely, if some element A belongs to the zero divisors of V, then A times X is zero for some X in V, X non-zero. Therefore, Uh, annihilator of X this is uh, 
So non-zero, this is an ideal in A and this ideal is not equal to the whole ring. So that is a non-unit ideal, non-unit ideal. So if I look at the family of annihilators, now if I look at all annihilators A, Y such that Y is in V, Y non-zero and this annihilator contains the annihilator X, this family of ideals will have a maximal element and that maximal element is a prime element, a prime ideal and that prime ideal will be therefore associated prime. So, then that implies there exists a prime ideal P of the form annihilator of Y where Y is in V, Y non-zero and this by definition our choice this contains annihilator of X. So, therefore this P is therefore by definition an associated prime of V in A and the given A belong here. So, A belongs to this. So, altogether we have proved that the set of 0 divisors of the module V is contained in the union of P, P in associated primes of V. Alright, so uh, now the other most important uh, result I want to prove this is remember we have used uh, we have used here the ring is noetherian because we have used that some family of ideals has a maximal element and that maximal element is a prime ideal that 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 we know from the that is very easy to check that such a maximal element has to be a prime ideal in in that ring. So, that was it. Now, another important corollary this all these results which I am doing in today's lectures are used without any explicit reference in the other lectures. So, therefore, I am only uh, giving a sketch of these results uh, mostly uh, a lot of proofs I will leave it. So, uh, let A be an Euthyrian ring A be an Euthyrian ring and V be a finite A module. Finite A module means it is finitely generated as a module. That means there is a finite system of generators for V as a A module. Then there exists a chain zero which is equal to V zero contained in V one, etcetera, etcetera, contained in V n minus one, contained in V n, which is V. There exists a chain of submodules of A submodules of V such that the successive quotients such that V i modulo V i minus 1 this is isomorphic to A by P i where PIs are prime ideals in A. So, proof. All right. So, we may assume V is non zero, otherwise, there is nothing to prove. V is non zero. So, uh, we know because V is non-zero uh, by just we have remarked that there is definitely an associated prime ideal of V. This is a non-empty set. So, choose so let P 
P P1 be an element in associated prime ideals of V. P1 is a prime ideal and this P1 by definition P1 is an annihilator of some element, some element uh, x where x is an element in V and because prime ideals are proper ideals this x cannot be zero element. So, x is non-zero and this is so now therefore put v1 equal to the submodule generated by this x ax and this submodule is obviously isomorphic to a by p1 because you can take a map you have a here you can take a map here this map is any a going to a times x and kernel of this map is precisely p because p is an annihilator of this x. So, this map will factor through this and this is obviously on to and because I have not mod the kernel this map is injective therefore, this is indeed an isomorphism. So, we have an isomorphism like that. So, uh, we have the here v0 here and we found v1 and v1 by v0 is ax which is isomorphic to a by p1. So, our chain started. Now, we have v here they are all contained in V. If V1 equal to V, we stop there. If so, if V1 is not equal to V, then we should be able to continue in the same way. So, so now uh, look at uh, suppose V1 is not equal to V, then uh, you look at the sub mod, look at the quotient module V by V1, this is non zero and therefore, we can choose associated prime ideals and therefore, we can find a submodule here by the first early step. So, we have v equal 0 equal to v 0 contained in v 1 and then we will find a submodule here which is of the form v 2 by v 1. So, that this quotient is quotient of this, this is uh, uh, prime ideal associated prime ideal. So, this is v2 and continue like that. So, ultimately you will reach a stage where n v n equal to v v. So, uh, this question we found v2 by v1 in inside this. So, that this quotient is isomorphic to a by p2. So, he this quotient is a by p1 this quotient is a by p 2 and we can go on this and this chain has to stop at v because v is finite module finite a module and a is noetherian. Therefore, v is noetherian module and noetherian module means every ascending chain of submodules should become stationary. So, therefore, every ascending chain of submodules is stationary. So, therefore, we will finish uh, at V and that proves this corollary. All right. So, let us see one example to illustrate this. So, example So, you I want to take the ring to be z this is ring of integers and the module is also z and uh, so now uh, what is the uh, series so that so, the successive quotients are uh, prime ideals and they are coming from the associated prime. So, uh, so for example, we have the chain 0 containing 6 z containing 3 z containing z. This is this quotient is 
this is uh, the this is also series this is also chain of sub modules but here note that what are the successive quotients here it is z mod 3 here it is z mod 2 and here it is z mod 6 so it's not uh, the 6 is not the uh, prime ideal generated by this so therefore uh, we cannot find uh, this 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 chain is not the required chain but however we can consider 0 this is uh, uh, v0 and contained in v which is z now this quotient is z and uh, that serves the our purpose so uh, that the only associated prime ideal of uh, G, G, Z is 0. <coughs> so, here note that associated prime ideals of Z as a Z module, this is only, only one element namely the 0 prime ideal. This is 0 divisors in Z, there is no 0 divisor in Z other than 0. So, 0, this singleton 0 which is obviously uh, thing match. So, this is not the required chain, but this is the required chain. All right. So, now <coughs> for inductive, so we want to prove uh, what is called primary decomposition. So, for that I will need couple of uh, other observations which I will uh, list now. So, for example, uh, this is very useful observation which I want to call it as a theorem which gives a relation between the associated prime ideals of the module, sub module and the quotient module. So, let, let W contained in V be A modules. So, W is a sub module of the A module V, then we want to prove that what is the relation between the associated prime ideals of W associated prime ideals of V and associated prime ideals of associated prime ideals of V by W. These three things, what is the relation? This is some set of prime ideals which are the annihilators of the element from W. These are prime ideals which are annihilators of the element from V and these are prime ideals which are annihilators from the elements of the residue class module. So, the assertion is this is contained in this and this one is contained in the union of this with this union. So, these are, we want to prove these two inclusions. So, proof by definition this inclusion is very clear. is clear by definitions, by definition of us because this means what? This means the prime ideal, uh, if you take an element here, it is a prime ideal which is an elator of some element in W, but the same element in W is also an element in V. So, therefore, it is an elator of some element in V. So, this one is very clear. So, the next one, let P belong into the associated prime ideals of V. That means P is annihilator of annihilator of some element A, uh, some element X in V, and X is non-zero element. That's the definition of the associated prime ideals. All right. So now we have a map A to A X, and this one is contained in V. This is a submodule generated by X, and this map is A going to AX. And we saw this kernel of this map. Kernel is precisely equal to the annihilator of X, which is P. Therefore, A by P is isomorphic to AX, and this is a submodule of V. So, therefore, I take 
a sub module of so w uh, no e let us call it e e is a sub module of v which is isomorphic to a by p that simply means i am taking the image of a by p inside v so, so look at e so now uh, e intersection w look at e intersection w if e intersection w is non zero if if this this can either be non zero or zero so if this is non zero then we know that p this is the only associated prime of associated prime of e intersection w this is because just now we have proved that uh, this this is this is a module whose associated prime ideal is only singleton uh, p and this is contained in because this is a sub module of v it is contained in the associated prime ideals of w we, this inclusion we already have proved it so this one is contained in p all right so so in this case we proved that p is contained in associated prime ideals of w uh, other case if e intersection w is zero then e is isomorphic to sub module e plus w modulo w and this is a sub module of v mod w this is one of the isomorphism theorem this this module is isomorphic to e modulo the intersection but this intersection is zero see this is this is the isomorphism in general but this is zero we are assuming so this is isomorphic to e so therefore and and uh, p then belong to the associated prime ideals of v by w all right so <coughs> all right so uh, we have proved this theorem and one corollary i will mention so so let v be a module and suppose i have a chain 0 equal to v0 contained in v1 contained in so on contained in vn equal to v such that the successive quotients are vi by vi plus 1 vi minus 1 this is isomorphic to a by pi with uh, where pi are the prime ideals then the associated prime ideals of v this is precisely contained in the set p1 to p n so proof this is a successive application of the theorem so proof um, we have this inclusion associated prime ideals of v this is contained in the associated prime ideals of v n minus 1 union associated prime ideals of v by v n minus 1 this is i use the second inclusion in the theorem and keep doing this now this one so this one is so this is contained in this is equal to this this set this is associated prime ideals of v by v n minus 1 union this one v v by v n that you further write it as so i should have written here this v n v is v n also and this one is a by p n 
therefore these associated there is only one associated square number namely pn and now keep doing this write this this is now this is the bigger model so this is contained in associated prime ideals of vn minus 2 union associated prime ideals of vn minus 2 modulo vn minus Vn minus one modulo Vn minus two. This is again applying the theorem, and this Pn I kept as it is. And this one, now I'll write on the next page. So the associated prime ideal. So this is equal to associated prime ideals of Vn minus two union associate. So that associated prime ideal is precisely. P n minus one and union the singleton P n as it is. So and keep doing this. So ultimately you will reach P one to P n minus P n. So therefore one important observation is. So the next corollary is. So V finite A module. And A is Noetherian. Then uh, associated prime ideals of V. This is a finite set. Is a finite set. This is very very important. Uh, this is we have used uh, this in and uh, uh, remember the assumption V is finite. And the ring is noetherian. So we will continue after the uh, break. Thank you.